going. Uh, we're placing tags on the horseshoe crabs right now. And we're going to tag the female first. She has tag number 171775. Uh, the placement is above the bottom edge, but not higher, so it impedes the vision. And we try and make a hole with an awl and place it as snug against her body as possible. And you can see she barely even moved. Okay. Um, Lena's got it <laughs> with the ventral side up. This is a Telson and, and it looks menacing. And everybody that, that sees these worries about this actually impaling them. Um, I get more harm from this handling these by me accidentally turning my face into them than they actually inflicting pain on you intentionally. Um, the telson is used mostly to flip the animal over and also it forms a protective layer when it is upside down like you see here. Uh, he'll put it over here and these have been inshore for a while you can tell and it hasn't molted for a while because the, the telson is pretty smooth usually there's some pretty jagged edges on here. And also, some of these are pretty well worn down, these spikes along the side. If you, can you pull? Yeah. Yeah, pull the abdomen down. Okay, these are book gills. And it, this is what makes it, one of the factors that makes it different than a normal crab. Because these book gills actually, uh, on a crab, the gills are actually inside the carapace, where these are outside. And you can see, I'm putting my hand right here. Uh, these look like scissors and they look like they would inflict a lot of pain, but they're, they don't even pinch well, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Quite soft. Yeah, they're very soft. And what makes this a male is the first pair of legs actually has a boxing glove type of configuration. It kind of looks like this, like a mitt. And that's what he uses to hang on to the females. And he grabs a hold of her tail right here if there's only one male. And if there's multiple males, they'll be grabbing a hold of the edges on the sides. Uh, and then he has maxillopeds here in the mouth. This is the mouth right here in the center. And everybody looks at it like it's going to grab you and just suck you in. <laughs> you can see it's, it really is harmful. Don't handle it by the tailson because they can break off. And if it does break off, this animal literally if it gets turned over by a wave, has no way of turning itself back. And they don't regrow the tail. They do regrow it, but usually they're dead by that time. <laughs> because the other birds and the animals, seeing it upside down like this and exposed, uh, it'll dry out the gills. And when it dries out the gills, the animal can't breathe and the animal dies. Flip it over. On the front, you can actually see the eyes right here. These are the two compound eyes here and here. And then it has a pair of simple eyes literally on top of the compound eyes here and here. There's another pair here in the front which is really hard to see because these bryozoans have actually grown right over the top. And then it has light sensory organs around the outside edge. And there's a lot of debate as to exactly how many there are. And there's also light sensory organs on the telson. Um, that basically tells them what's up. So since the sun's coming down, they know whether they're upside down or right side up.